What are the responsibilities arising from the Building Safety Act regarding resident engagement strategies? Okay, the Act specifically, the Building Safety Act specifically requires um, the principal accountable persons uh, to es establish a resident engagement strategy within those blocks that are within scope of that Act. So that's blocks that are 18 metre plus or seven storeys and more. Um, this act, this resident engagement strategy or this strategy will um, ensure that the management company and the accountable person uh, can communicate and share information regarding building safety with those residents, leaseholders, owners of the properties within that block of flats. Um, and it applies to all residents that need uh, that are within there, so that their needs must be addressed um, within that strategy. What must the strategy cover? Okay, the strategy will cover all of that information that needs to be passed on. So that can be information from risk assessments. It can be passed on, uh, will be information on what to do in the event of a fire safety um, emergency, whether there needs to be an evacuation, what kind of evacuation process is in place in the building, um, how to, how to um, bring up building safety issues with the management company, uh, which is a complaints procedure or a, a occurrence uh, procedure that needs to be in place. And we can go through the majority of that in, in a following question. But really it's providing that information to the residents, but it's also gauging what their residents' needs are. So whether or not um, there are people who have mobility issues who may require assistance in the event of emergency, um, what the demographics are within the in the building and whether or not people require different languages um, for their information to be passed on uh, or pictograms, anything like that, to, to be able to um, ensure that those people, those residents that live within the building, um, get all of the building safety information that they require. 